Welcome to the Thursday, April 4th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, food service demand impacts the chicken tender market. And later, the American Egg Board names its new chairman. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Cargill has announced a $2.3 million investment to install additional ground beef production and packaging equipment to its Wyalusing, Pennsylvania beef processing facility. The company said the investment will add significant ground beef production capacity to the plant to meet retail and customer and consumer demand. Currently, the plant's 1,150 employees process up to 1,800 head of cattle daily, making it one of the largest beef processing plants on the East Coast. The new investment is expected to create 15 to 20 full-time jobs at the plant and will boost production just in time for the spring and summer seasons. For more on Cargill's ground beef demand-driven plant investment and for other Center of the Plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. Meanwhile, U.S. food service demand for chicken tenders has waned in 2013, and here's Erner Berry's Chicken Market reporter James Serpico with the latest. For someone tracking the condition of Ernerberry's chicken complex over the last few weeks, it would seem clear that most of these lines have been very well positioned, and for the most part, that thought process would be accurate. One exception to this rule from the start of 2013 has been the market for tenders. From January 1st, Ernerberry's quotations for line run tenders have been tracked below the same figures from just a year ago. That's not to say that these markets have been weak as those recorded in 2012 were some of the highest levels in recent history. It is true, however, that demand patterns for tenders have diminished as of late. Food service activity has fallen off as a number of tender promotions in this arena have been terminated. It's also worth mentioning that business for chicken has been subdued relative to 2012 in general. What's held the tender market together throughout this time has been the tight level of supplies under comparatively reduced production figures. More recently, enhanced further processing requirements have bolstered the undertone. If this scenario continues, these quotations may not reach the heights experienced last year, but they should remain in a steady range relative to their current position. Thanks, James. To wrap up today's video, here is Erner Berry staff writer Michael Ramsing revealing the American Egg Board's newest chairman. The American Egg Board has elected Roger Defner as its chairman for 2013-2014 at its March board meeting. Defner is vice president for the National Food Corporation in Everett, Washington. He has been on the board since 2008 where he served as the chairman of the board's Food Service and Egg Product Market Industry Programs Committee. Most recently, Defner served on the board's executive committee. Defner's first official duty as the board's new chairman was to present the 36th commemorative egg to President Obama and the First Lady at the White House's annual Easter egg roll that took place earlier this week. In addition to Defner, the AEB filled out the rest of its executive committee roster, naming Greg Herbrook as vice chairman, Blair Van Zetten as secretary, Paul Sauter as treasurer, and Andrew Reichman and Pat Stronger as executive members. Be sure to head over to foodmarket.com to check out more information on the AAB's newest executive committee employees. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.